Hello my friends. Today I'm going to be transplanting this chili pepper hybrid. I planted it in this little container in soil. The pepper was never supposed to get this big. In fact, it was never intended to live. It was part of a six pepper project, codenamed the pepper next door. But, since it survived, we're going to transplant it into my hydroponic system. So first thing I'm going to do is just break away this container and just kind of massage the, the dirt away from the roots. Try not to damage too much of them. Now that it's about like that, I'm just going to rinse it off. The roots are stuck to the bottom of the, the paper container it was in, so it's kind of stuck. But I'm confident it's going to survive the transplant. Survived all the abuse so far. All right. There we go. We've removed it from from the soil. There's a little bit on there still, but it's going to be just fine. So what we're going to do here is because the roots aren't very large on this plant, I'm going to put it into a rock wool cube. That way it has some more support and then put it into my hydroponic bucket. First thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to get rid of this outer layer. Just take this, give it a cut. Open it up. There, set it so the roots are hanging out. And the stem is supported. Now I'm just going to let this cube soak for about a minute. Alright, so I want to just show you uh, my bucket before I put you on the tripod here. So I have my water level a little higher than what it normally would be. And that's just so that because the roots aren't very long, I want to still be able to get enough clay pebbles into the bucket to block the mesh holes so we don't have any light getting, uh, getting down into our bucket. Okay, so we're just going to start by throwing some, some clay pebbles into the bucket. Just enough so we're, we have a base to put this in. didn't want it to be completely submerged. Just enough so the roots can touch and start growing. We're just gonna backfill around it. There we go. So the cube itself is covered so we won't get any algae or mold growing on the top. And all the holes are filled around the bucket. I've already put the nutrients in it.
and I've balanced the pH so this thing's good to go and we'll see see how big it gets for nutrients I'm using Pure, Pure Blend Pro so here's everything all set up if you want to leave a like, comment, tell me what you think, subscribe to the channel. I have other uh, videos on how I made these deep water culture buckets. I have a video on this LED grow light and on the stand. So, thanks for watching.